Hey everyone, it's Dr. West and Steven in the West Clinic in March of 2023. And we've just been having a delightful conversation about Steven and his progress. It's always fun to be a part of someone's healing process. And I know he's not 100%, but the changes that we've seen in the last three weeks are remarkable. And so I said, I'd like to help you to therapeutically tell your story, but there's people out there that need to hear this. So I told Stephen to the extent he's comfortable and talking about like, how did our paths first cross? Um, eight years ago, I came in here with my wife and she was an Olympic swimmer and she had problems with her knees, they were shot. So Dr. West worked on my wife. Um, I brought her over two different times. Her daughter brought her over for a week. Well, at the time we were living in Fallon, Nevada, and uh, my wife loved to walk. And at the, before we came, she couldn't hardly walk more than a quarter or a half a mile because of the pain in her knees. After these three times where she came up and saw Dr. West, when we went back home, we began to start walking around a lake that was a couple of miles from our house. It was five miles around that lake. In less than a month, we were walking five miles around that lake and it definitely improved her quality of life. She later died from esophageal cancer, but the time she had between when she saw Dr. West and the time that she died, her life was greatly improved. And, and then Stephen, that was uh, eight years ago. And then our paths crossed again, but it wasn't for uh, your wife or a family member, it was for you. Yes, uh, approximately five years ago, I weighed, my weight was between 190 and 195 pounds. When in a period of about four to five weeks, I was eating normal, eating plenty of food. I had a weight loss of 15 to 18 pounds. Because of the sudden weight loss, I went to the doctor. The doctor ran uh, roughly 18 to $20,000 worth of tests on me, putting the camera down my throat, to my stomach, um, testing every organ in my body, everything checked out. In the end, they came back to me and says, we don't know what to tell you. As far as we're concerned, you're a pretty healthy guy. Looked at me like I was crazy or something. So then, you know, I was okay for about a year, um, but I didn't never did gain that weight back. And then the same thing happened about 18 months later. The last time this happened, uh, they ran the test in 2021. And by that time, I was only carrying a weight of 158 to 60 pounds. So I went back for a checkup this last spring in 22. Um, and then they gave me the checkup. And then a few months later, I started dropping weight again. So I went to a different doctor. And each time I went to the doctor, it was always the same thing. They would do 18 to $20,000 worth of tests, um, and then come back and tell me, well, we don't know what to tell you, you're a pretty healthy guy. So long story short, my last two months after I went in for a checkup here recently, and the doctor told me I should not to see you, need to see you for anything for a while because everything looks great. Approximately two to four weeks after that, I began to lose weight again after she had told me everything was fine. I got down to 147 pounds. Uh, when I showed up here at the clinic, the doctor estimated me at less than 2% body fat. That 147 pounds, I was so weak, I literally talked to my son and had him coming down to my house to take some things that I wanted to give my grandchildren. I told him I wanted to put tags on them because I didn't think I would, could survive much more weight loss. I've been up here at the West Clinic for two and a half weeks now. And in that two and a half weeks, I've had 10 different treatments. My five biggest complaints were things like brain fog. I couldn't, I've had much, a whole big problem sleeping. Uh, I had several problems, but the bottom line is, at the end of the second day, I could already feel improvements. Um, Dr. West found things like my magnesium was low. The biggest, one of the biggest reasons I couldn't gain weight is because the magnesium was low, made it difficult for my body to absorb carbohydrates. I couldn't absorb protein 
because I didn't have the necessary amino acids in my system. I had a blood infection. And truthfully, it shocked me that the doctors didn't pick it up. I guess I was naive, but I thought every doctor had to be trained in your blood system too. But all I kept hearing was the fact that I was a healthy guy and these people looked at me like I'm crazy. And I'm here to tell you that after three weeks, in the past 15 years, there hasn't been two times that I slept seven or eight hours. In the past two weeks now, I've slept seven hours or more, at least three different times, without having to take the strong sleeping pills that I was getting from the doctor. Um, Tell them about your Raynaud's. That was that's oh, fascinating too. I have Raynaud's. And uh, while I was here, uh, Dr. Jason gave me this book right here. And I made it a point to read every word of it. And while I was doing that, I saw that they had a uh, procedure called a PNI, and I think that's psychoneuroimmunology. And when I read about it, it talked how it uh, reset the nervous system. And Raynaud's is a disease that affects the nervous system where you lose blood flow to your extremities, such as your feet and your hands. And I asked him about it, and he said he thought that it might help that, and it also helps your mind to communicate with your body better so you heal better. So I elected to take that treatment, and since then, I went out this morning as a perfect example. Normally, if I had went out in the cold like that, I would have wore insulated gloves and not touched any metal or anything cold, or this part of my hand right here would turn white from no blood flow. Well, this morning I went out and everything was froze up tight and I deliberately, I was doing this to check to see if in fact it did have an effect. And while I did get, these two fingers did get cold, they normally would have turned white and there was no pain in it. So it's actually helping to reset the Raynaud's. And um, long story short, I'm getting my life back. My wife about cried. And uh, the reason we're doing this, that this only helps one person. If you find yourself in the same situation I was, come see this man and their staff. I don't even need to really say anything other than, than to say this. You're not your diagnosis. You know, there's a person inside and the reason why he's had such a wonderful response is we're treating him. We're treating Steven. We're not treating a disease. We're not treating a condition. We're just trying to put everything back in balance, reset the nerves, get those pathways put together. And uh, Stephen, that's a powerful story. Um, I just have one follow-up question. Whether people are across the street or across the country, I found that when people have a, a beautiful change, just like you've had, a lot of times they learn something about their health challenges. You know, they learn something about themselves. They learn about not giving up or they learn about, um, you know, hope and, and moving forward. So is there, is there a lesson out of your out of your health challenges that you could share with someone or have you already covered it? No, I haven't covered it. Don't give up. Um, the doctor deal, after the third time, I just, I was not going to a doctor again. And uh, I just happened to have a friend by the name of Dale Honey and his wife had come up here and he reminded me about this place. I'd kind of forgotten that they did blood. But if you go to a doctor and you have anything like I did and he tells you you're healthy and you can feel it in your body that you're not and they make you doubt yourself, go to a holistic doctor, go to somebody else. Um, because these doctors, the one thing I was just amazed at was out of these doctors, not one of them thought to even refer me to an internal medicine doctor, which maybe would have got some help. And, you know, the average Joe out there in a the population like us, we don't know all that stuff. So uh, keep looking. Don't just keep getting sick. And one other thing I would add, if you come here, you make sure you read this book because there's a lot of different ways how you can help yourself if you read it and you have a little common sense of how it can apply to your body. So that's the goal is to make it so that people don't live here. They live all the way up here, and, and Stephen, thank you. Like, I'm so inspired and motivated by, by that. You guys, we'll see you on the next video. This is Dr. West and Stephen at the West Clinic. We'll see you later.